What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 37 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us a table with different students, the hours they studied, and the grade they got on their test. And we're going to use this data to find a line of best fit and compare Amanda's score to the predicted score for a student who studied for three and a half hours. Now the big skill this question is testing is if you can make a prediction using a line of best fit. And we're going to go over exactly how to make a line of best fit on the calculator and how to use it to make a prediction. So to start with, the first thing I want is for all my data to be in the stat edit menu. So I've gone ahead and done that. In list one, I have two, 1 1.75 and all of that. And in list two, I have, good, I typed those in right. Just making sure, it's always good to double check when you're typing a bunch of numbers in at once and you're already in the middle of a math test. Um, so now, I go back to stat, stat, and when I go to the calculate menu, I'm going to use linear regression, AX plus B. When I press enter twice, this is going to give me the actual line, or the actual equation for the line of best fit. And so I can see that it's AX plus B, my A equals 5.19, or about 5 and 19 hundredths. I went ahead and rounded that to two decimal places. X plus, and then my B, my constant, is going to be 76 and 52 hundredths, just about. So now that I have this function, this is my predicted score for any amount of studying that I want to plug in here. We're specifically interested in three and a half hours of studying. So, that means I'm going to be looking for 5.19 times 3.5 plus 76.52. So that's what I'm looking for. This is the exact same function, except I just plug in 3.5 hours because that's what I'm most interested in. So I'll go ahead and type that. My calculator will do order of operations here, so I don't need to use parentheses, even though if you're a little paranoid about it doing what you don't want it to do, that would be good. And the predicted score is 94 and 685 hundredths. I look at Amanda's actual score, actual grade, and it's a 93. So the, the line of best fit predicted, it would be somewhere between 94 and 95, Amanda got a 93. So Amanda is about two points lower than the predicted score. Let me go ahead and find the answer choice that best matches that. Amanda scored about two points lower. Now, of course, it would be a lot more, I guess we could be a lot more sure if this were like 94.9 or something like that. Um, but the answer of two points lower than the predicted score for three and a half hours is still our best answer here. So our answer is C.